practice. So how do you, if you mess up, how do you like clean it off? Well, sometimes you have to take a knife point. Sometimes you have to take a pin. Sometimes you have to undecorate the entire cake and start over. Ooh. And you know what? It's just a cake. It's not, it's not the neighbor kid. It's not, it's not anything that's it, not a big catastrophe. It's just some icing in a cake. And you, if, if you have to, now there are times that I put the wrong image on. <laughs> so I have to take the image off. And if I've already completely decorated the cake, it has to go. Makes me mad to make that I made that mistake. But well, once in a while, it happens. You can always just put it over in our house. Cause it's, yeah. <laughs> I'll just we'll take, should I give you a call? <laughs> well, the next door neighbors just took a mistake this morning. Yes. <laughs> there are times I watch YouTube, and I say, if you only knew how much easier that would have been. You know. So the, there's a value in having uh, a hands-on class. And there's a value of having things. somebody come by and say, if you hold your bag this way, you're going to find it easier. And they say, oh, that's much easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you because know. you can actually ask questions, and right. it's not just a virtual screen. Right, screen. right. And not only that, what happens on the screen, you don't know how many times that camera stopped. <laughs> you think it's a free-flowing thing that they did all in one t one time, but they probably if it if it looks very free flowing, they probably practice 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 practice, then took the picture of them doing it, until they made all the mistakes beforehand, and you don't really realize that if you did this, it would go wrong, or if you did it another way, it wouldn't wouldn't do but do it right. But they're not saying I want you to hold your hand at at a, at three o'clock. I want you to hold your hand at six o'clock. You know, and they, they're not they're not saying on, on YouTube, we, we want a 45 degree angle, we want a 90 degree angle. You know, they're just doing it. And then you're having to figure out that, oh yeah, that's how they did it. Now this is what you do. You roll it until it fills the end, but you hang on to it really tight with your thumb, okay? and then just put your fingers around it. If you hold it with this hand and decorate it with this hand, you can come all the way to the edge. Okay? And I don't care what they say on Food Network, that will dry your cupcake out. This will not. Okay? Now that's when you start from the outer edge and come to the middle, you have a star. If you go from the inside out, you start with, you do a rose. See? Oh, that's really cool. This is another one. You can make it look like hydrangea blossoms. Okay. So go really close together. Very close together. That looks really cool. I like like the outside how it kind of goes like. And if you go all the way, then you're sealing, then you're sealing it, so that it's nice and fresh. Straight up and down. If you're doing the hydrangea blossoms, is that what you're doing? Oh, you're doing that one. Yeah, steal straight up and down for that one, too. All the way. There you go. You sealed it up. There you go. Like now you can sprinkle it. Yep, just like that. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Way better. There, do your rosette. Very good. So all the way up to your to your stars. Good deal. Yes. Yes.